Good morning, this is Donna with Gifted Energies, and I'm here to do a spirit guide reading for Robin. Robin, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do this reading for you. It is December 27th, 2016, at about 4.40 a.m. I'm going to start by shuffling the deck just until I feel an energy shift or I feel that the cards are ready to be read. I do want you to know before I started this reading, I did go into a meditative state to connect with your guides. And I connected with Johanna, um, spelt Josana with a J. She says the, the J is silent or sounds like an H. Or Y, I guess, Johanna. And um, the things that came to me, she, she spoke to me some, but what really came to me were words that just kept popping up, awareness, awaken. Um, and I saw how she came to me was an older woman with long gray hair. Um, I wouldn't say she was very chubby, but she's, she's not skinny. She's on, on the healthier side. Um, long silver gray hair and I the way I envisioned her was to see a th to actually see an eye in the spot where her third eye would be. Um, to me this shows me it, it the third eye chakra, a psychic connection, um, spiritual awakening. Um, and I feel that she is with you, and, and what what was expressed to me is that she is with you to help you through an awakening. Um, I'm also being told to stop hiding, hiding yourself. Do not hide yourself. Be open and clear about who you are and your own abilities. Um, it's it's time to really focus on your your strength and stop trying to shadow them is what, what she's saying to me. Um, to, to me, I'm, I'm seeing a vision of you pushing them behind you. Like you, you're trying to ignore things um, and that there's a lot of denial going on. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle a couple more times. And the first, the first card is going to answer who is your spirit guide. Now today we're using the spirit me message deck with, by John Holland. I just really was drawn to this deck today and I felt it was important to use this deck for this reading. I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck. And who is your spirit guide? Now, I do not read reverse meanings. It just tells me that it's to s spend a little more time with this card, pay a little closer attention to it, that it may have a deeper meaning for you. The card is caregiver. We're with you, and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives, just as you received care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers often focus their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in this process. This tells me a little bit about who your guide is. It tells me that your guide is with you to help you assist others, um, showing compassion, caring for others, especially if you have elderly people in your life or people you care about who are transitioning or in their own transition. The, it also tells me that you're a healer and your guide is with you, Johanna, is with you to help strengthen your, your skills and abilities. Um, you have a very nurturing nature and Johanna wants you to Really focus on develop, like, developing the skills to connect, I'm being told, connect with others, to help them, to bring calm and peace to them. Um, that you can really assist in this. Um, I'm being told volunteer work. Um, and also not just in 
the current living form, you also have the ability to help and heal those who are have already passed in the spirit realm who may not have transitioned on or moved on from this earthly realm. Um, speaking of spirits that are that are trapped here. Um, You, Johanna tells me, or, or I'm, I'm being given the message that you are em empathic and that you pick up on a lot of the emotions of others around you. And she will help if you ask her to. She can help you to protect yourself. I'm being told block those feelings, but I don't personally my own intuitive feeling is blocking those feelings is not necessarily um, the right thing to do and I and I'm seeing the form of Johanna in my mind shaking her yet head yes affirming that I am correct here um, but to help you protect yourself so they don't affect those feelings and emotions don't affect you as much uh, she can help you with that but to, by understanding them and being compassionate about them, it will also help you develop your own skills and understanding on how you can help others and what their needs are. So the next card answers, why are you with me at this time? And the card again is reversed and I am flipping this over to, for you. And this is nature. This is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body, and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization, and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. Even if it is freezing cold outside, just step out and at least take three deep breaths and tell yourself, in with the good and out with the bad, and release all the energy and built up The only word that comes to me, energies, um, euphoric attachments, things that, the energy that doesn't belong to you, that that you pick up by being an empath, release that and blow it into the wind and let it go. Um, I really feel that this breathing technique and doing this is going to help you. Johanna is with you to help you ground yourself and balance yourself so that you can move forward and strengthen your own skills and develop your own psychic abilities and awakening. Um, she says that you, you, ha you are very psychic, that you've, you are aware of your own abilities and the things that go on with you, but at times it really gets to you and, and at times you try to deny it and push it to the side because you just don't want to deal with it and she's here to help you deal with it help you to ground, help you to accept it. So the third card, what do you want me to know? Again, a reversed card. And this is hope. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. This card tells me don't give up, no matter what's going on in your life. Johanna wants you to know that you are much stronger than you think. That what I'm being shown is the um, your third your third chakra rising, your your energy center. That if you build an energy ball here. Right, right in your gut. That this is where that hope and light sparks. This is where you it's interesting. I'm being told that this is your connection with others, that this energy. Um that your awareness is your connection with others. And that tells me that your awareness, um, yes, in this reality, in this 
this life here on earth as we know it, um, our, our physical realm. The, there's a connection there through your awareness, but there's also a connection with you with the spiritual realm beyond our living, beyond our dimension. Um, and that by focusing on that third chakra center, that by focusing on building that bright light and reaching out with that energy, you are able to connect and able to I'm even told to protect yourself by, by building that orc bubble around you as well. But it, it's, it's your way of connecting. Um, she, she says you're enlightened. Hold on, don't give up. And face your fears. Uh, and I'm just being told over and over in my mind, connection, connections, connections. I really feel that she wants you to know that it's okay to connect with the spirit world, that you are protected, that you are, I'm being told again, stronger than you think, psychic awareness, that you're going through an awakening. And that there's still hope that life can be... Okay, let, let me correct which I, I'm being told life can be normal. Um, it depends on your view of normal, but you can still have a quality of life as long as you can learn to balance all of this together. Um, the next question answers, what is the best way to connect with you? And this is serenity. And again, a reverse card, I'm pulling and um, reversing it for you into the upright position. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. What I feel and what I'm being shown through this card and through the messages I'm receiving through your guide is that finding peace within is going to help you connect with your guides and with the spirit world. Being okay with yourself and accepting who you are, accepting your ability and believing in yourself, that trust is very important. Finding peace within is a very big key to unlocking the door, to connecting with the outer realms, to connect with your guide, to connect with Johanna, but also to connect with, with others. Being at peace with yourself, accepting yourself, as long as you, ha you put up that block and, and you don't show that self-care and self-love and nurturing yourself and helping yourself find balance, you kind of close a door off to yourself. You're limiting yourself. Not that the door isn't open, but, but there's still a wall up and you, that you haven't passed, a veil, um, a curtain that you haven't gone through, and it's okay to step through, but you have to be at peace with yourself. And that is the key to connecting with the spirit realm and with your guides, is finding that serenity within accepting yourself. That is the biggest thing that I keep being told. Acceptance, acceptance. Um, trust. Peace. And, and what I'm being shown almost as if as you're at peace with yourself, your astral body travels. So there's an astral connection with your guides as well. So I'm going to go on to the last question. This is your personal question. You wanted to know why you've been so emotional, why um, unusual things have been going on for you, um, and why spirits are showing themselves to you, why things have been disappearing. And during my meditation, again, I, I really feel that Johanna is telling me that, that you're going through an awakening, that you're becoming more, of more aware of the other realms and the spirits around you. And they're just kind of 
they want to be known. They, they want to be acknowledged. And they're seeking your help. As I mentioned here, that, that you're able to nurture them. You're able to bring them peace through transition. Help them move on. Find out what it is that they need to pass on to the next level. The card I've drawn for this, again, is reverse. So, so this is telling me this whole reading is very important, and what I'm telling you is very important for you to hear. This is vulnerability. This is confirmation that you're seeking to read into the unknown, unfamiliar territory, where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. And yes, you may feel very vulnerable working with spirit, working with your guides, but oh, I'm getting goosebumps, sorry. Um, you, you, you have a very strong connection and I really feel that they're seeking you out. They want your assistance. They want that comfort. They, they, that you can provide. Um, don't be afraid to work with them. Don't be afraid to talk to them and ask them what it is they seek. I don't feel that this is something negative, um, that these spirits that you're dealing with are negative at all. I just feel that they, they want to be acknowledged and sometimes they have to make it very obvious that they are there to get your attention. Um, if they're really bothering you, try smudging. Um, ask your guide for protection. Find balance. Seek out ways to work with them. Study. Study is very important. Don't be afraid to study and learn about connecting with the unknown, with about learning about your own abilities and strengthening your own um, psychic awareness. You are, you are very gifted, and you have, uh, I'm just being told, you have the ability to bring comfort and peace um, in times of transition, and that this is very important. Help them seek the light, and in doing so, I think that you will find comfort also. Shielding yourself is, is going to be important, so that you don't take this energy with you all the time. Um, shielding, um, cutting cords with the energy, releasing that energy out back into the universe um, so it's not keeping you up at night, so that you can have peaceful sleep. And you can ask your guides for that. Um, I'm actually being shown an image of you putting a sprig of rosemary under your pillow at night. Um, I'm not actually familiar with the the properties or why rosemary, but this is what I'm being shown, and I can go on the computer and kind of look this up. Um, but I'm being told that this will help you. Um, because for more of a peaceful night's sleep, I would imagine um, lavender, but I'm being told, no, rosemary. Work with rosemary. This is an herb for you to really consider working with. This is your, like a spirit guide, your spirit herb. Um, aromatherapy. They, these are things that will help you. Um, And I'm just being told, lastly, don't close the door. The more you try to shut that door um, to the unknown, the more bothered and unbalanced you're going to feel. Again, there's hope. You will find peace. You will be able to deal with this. Um, just ask your guides for help. Um, you have to ask for assistance when working with your guides and spirit um, because they can't interfere with free will. You have to ask for their help and tell them that it's okay to, to step forward and give you a hand and, and show you the path that you need to be on. 
Um, I just want to thank you once again. Brightest blessings and have a wonderful day. Please feel free to contact me with any questions. Thank you again. Bye-bye.